Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I bring you guys something truly unique. Building upon the techniques that I used on the Genos and Amelia Live wallpapers, with a request score of over a whopping 11,000, I bring you the Korean web phenomenon and soon to be anime, solo leveling. This is going to be another one in my series on how to customize your home screen like a pro. A series where I show you how you can easily and quickly get these stunning minimalistic setups on your Android phones. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here he is, with sword in hand, our hero walking right towards us. This one definitely adds a whole different dimension to our home screens. And as for the home screen setup itself, it's super simple, with blue and white icons to match the color of his sword, and a singular bold date and battery widget, which I've also modified ever so slightly to add in local weather information. This setup will be running Nova Launcher using KWGT widgets and to complete the look I'll be using the Hex Installer for system wide customization. The link for these and everything else that you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now as a quick note, if you want that full screen edge to edge look for your home screen setup without those ugly signal bars then make sure you disable the notification bar within Nova Launcher settings. And to get this comfy icon layout Make sure to head to Nova's home screen settings and change the grid size to 5 across and 11 down. And to really clean up your home screen, I highly recommend you turn off icon labels and decrease your icon size, as well as disabling your home screen dock. So now that we have that out of the way, the icon pack that I'm using in this setup to match the blue and white lightnings of the sword is the line blue pack. Just simply head to Nova's look and feel section and set the pack as your system icons. And before we go any further, make sure you grab this unique wallpaper from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find it there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. Next up, this awesome KWGT widget. But before we get into it, we need to make sure that we enable widget overlapping. You can find this at the bottom of Nova Launcher's home screen section. Just simply make sure to enable both of these options here. Now finally for our KWGT widget, this bold date, battery and now also a weather indicating widget. Straight from the vanilla pack is widget 135. So let's start by loading in the KWGT layout to our home screen and then we want to resize it so it looks something like this. Now here to match my look, make sure to long press it and toggle the padding option. And because it is overlapping our home screen app icons, make sure to also use this menu to select the option to send it to the back. Now within KWGT, we're going to start things off by adjusting the widget size. To do this, we're going to head to the layer tab. Here, simply select the scale option and then hit the calculator button in the top right of our screens. Now, as we change the scale, we can visually see the change on the screen. Now here, I went for a scale of 61.9. Next up, let's replace that default battery text item with our own weather indicator. For this, from on our item list, we want to simply head into the stack group item. After which, you'll notice that there's four different overlap groups for the four different sections of the widget. So here, let's head into the third group where we'll find this morphing text item. Now, all that's left to do is edit the text section, entering our own custom formula as I'm displaying on screen. And of course, once done, don't forget to hit save before you leave. 
And wrapping up this setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across the whole system, including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. And alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app One Shade. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any theme suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.